Konnichiwa mirasan and welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday over there and normally every Saturday I have a gaming video go up but that's not happening this week because I actually do have a video ready but I didn't want to put it up the day after the last day of SourceFed and it just didn't feel appropriate or right. Um, I'm still very very attached to SourceFed and everyone that was involved with it so I don't know. It just didn't feel right putting it up, and instead, you're gonna get a bummer video. <laughs> I had a lot of feelings about Source of being cancelled. Um, first things first, I left out of my own accord. I left because um, I was a little bit burnt out. I was extremely pissed off at how Super Panic Frenzy was handled, and I was definitely not pulling my weight any longer over on Source of Nerd. So I left. That was completely out of my own volition, and so I don't have any right whatsoever to be complaining about anything. Um, but the reality is, all of my friends just lost their jobs, and of course I'm sad that the channel's gone. I have so many memories, and I was a fan before I was a host, before I was an intern, all those things. So. Of course, I'm devastated. It's an end of an era that the channel is done. But I'm more upset about the fact that no one's talking about how everyone just lost their fucking jobs. Like, these are one of the most talented people on earth. And I know I said that in the video, but it's true and I have to reiterate. The studio techs, incredible. Star, graphic designer, Kenny, fucking unbelievable out of this world. The editors, the producers, the talent, like... These are top-notch people that are now out of a job. Now, they won't be out of a job for much longer because they're incredible and they're immediately going to get hired and they are just going to skyrocket. So I'm not worried. I'm just kind of sad and bummed out that I feel like no one's really acknowledging the real horrible thing that happened, which is that everyone lost their jobs. When I was making the video for... SourceFed's goodbye stream. Um, I tried really hard to think about positive stuff and positive memories that I've had, my favorite ones. Um, I obviously missed a whole bunch because I was a little bit in a whirlwind. Um, but after I was done shooting that video, I was just depressed, honestly. And I don't really get sad very often. Like, I cry a lot because I have a lot of emotions, but I don't really get sad or depressed. But I think I was because even though I'm in Japan for work, um, I have all these opportunities to be like shooting all these cool videos here and I didn't because I'm not inspired and I'm literally just sad. And I also don't have a lot of communication with everybody back at home because, you know, my, my time is limited. I'm working for another television studio so I'm totally at their mercy and I can't always be on my phone and I can't, I don't have a lot of like Wi-Fi or a lot of like roaming minutes left so I couldn't even like answer the phone when people were calling me but this whole trip like I love Japan so much and like I love Crunchyroll and I love doing all of this but I cannot believe that I was so just shaken by the news about SourceFed that I couldn't even make a fucking video like I couldn't I just couldn't do it like I couldn't fake it I couldn't pick up my camera and like be excited about Tokyo and be excited about like shopping or like Akihabara like I just really couldn't do it and I wanted to make this video and I know it's a bummer video super sorry about that but I wanted to make this video because like I try hard to make positive happy or exciting or interesting videos but sometimes life is just fucking awful it's just shitty and bad and sometimes all of your fucking most talented friends lose all their fucking jobs and that's all you can think about and you still have to work for these other people and you still have to do all these other things and go to these meetings and go to these script reads and stuff but in the back of your mind you're just thinking about everything that just happened like I learned everything at SourceFed from all the people that are there I know how to edit videos because of them I know how to look through a camera lens because of them I know how to set things right because of them I know how to produce all of that because of SourceFed because you have to learn all those things when you're there because it's hard news is hard and even nerd news is hard and like I fucked up before and it was devastating and awful so making those videos daily and not fucking up is almost an impossibility but we all did it and that's how that's how great we all are and I just can't believe that there was no other solution other than to just fucking cancel everything so 
I'm really, really mad and sad. I feel very much the same way I did when Super Panic Frenzy was cancelled. Like, could there not have been any other way this was handled? There are a lot of directives I don't know. There are a lot of other powers that be that I don't know. I don't know what their agenda is. I don't know what their budget is. I don't know what, they, what was asked of them. So I don't know how, when, or what all actually went down. But the end result is the worst thing that could have happened. And it's just terrible. And there is no and. I just wanted to explain that to you because it is a little bit weird that there are no videos about Japan that I'm making here. It's bullshit. Like, I just completely fucked my entire week because I was so, so sad about SourceFed. But yeah. I feel like a lot of you are really, really sad like me because, you know, there's nowhere to watch the new videos. I mean, obviously the videos will all be there, I'm assuming, just like you can still watch like all the other dead channels, but yeah, this was like, it was a really messed up week. So again, sorry that this is a bummer video. I'm sorry that I have like basically zero videos about Japan. Um, but I was actually hoping that after this, um, after this video, I would feel a little bit better, kind of like therapy, because, you know, I'd have somewhere where I could put my feelings, so I am going to try to shoot a video or two tomorrow when I have a little bit of time, but, you know, I just wanted to explain why my channel was kind of just spazzing out really hard, but it's because I was way more affected by Source of Being Cancelled than I realized, and... I just wanted to put my feelings somewhere. So yeah, again, super sorry that this is a shitty video, but I really appreciate you guys watching and I really appreciate you listening to my opinion and me bitching. But yeah, that's all I have for now. Um, I hope I can get a nice video from Japan for you guys, at least one, because it would be really shitty if I did zero. So yeah, hoping that I feel a little bit better tomorrow thanks to this video. But thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Um, you know, let's maybe talk in the comment section below. Tell, tell me how you feel about it. I'm personally affected because these are my friends and they just got fucked. But, yeah, um, if you can, please encourage everyone that, th that they're amazing because they are. And I don't know if they need that right now because they're all so talented and awesome and cool and just positive that they might actually be totally fine. But if you could just maybe you know, tweet them anything, just remind them that they're all fucking amazing. That would really mean the world to me. So yeah, let's maybe talk in the comment section below and make each other feel a little bit better. <laughs> Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Sonja matane!